Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a uh, Netflix recommendations for the month of November. Um, first half of the video, I'm going to tell you guys what I've watched on Netflix in October and what I think are great shows and maybe you should check them out in November, which is now. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you like some upcoming new Netflix shows that you guys should definitely check out that I'll be checking out that I haven't watched yet. So let's get started. The first show is going to be no good nick okay when i first saw the trailer i thought it was gonna be kind of cheesy because melissa joan hart is the mom <laughs> so i was like this is gonna be super super cheesy but i watched a couple episodes well i watched the first season and now i'm on the second season and i think it's cute and it's like very like what's the word there's a lot of like tension and there's a lot of build up because basically this girl um, pretends to be related to this family and she's basically a con artist and she's trying to steal money to get um, her dad out of prison so I think you guys should check that out because I was very surprised at how I felt about the show because there are some cringy moments let's be honest it's like a comedy Netflix series with like laughing in the background like a studio audience or whatever but it's really I don't know it's really a cute show I liked it anyways I don't know I think you guys should check it out the next show that I've been completely obsessed with is Grace and Freak and Frankie Grace and Frankie is such a good show I binge watched the first season in like two days I'm now on the second season and I'm completely obsessed it's starring Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin basically their husbands left them for each other which I thought I thought was hilarious I mean it is heartbreaking and I can't imagine that happening to me but it's comedic gold it's like so funny like there are moments where it's like really sad and you feel for the women but other moments they make it so funny so basically their husbands left them and they've Frankie and Grace have grown closer and they've moved in together and they're becoming best friends and that's what I find that I love the most about the show that they're best friends at this point and they're I don't know they're really funny like comedy wise the show is really good I was a little upset though that um they were like supposed to get over their husbands so fast and their husbands were getting married but other than that uh i really love that show they're so funny and i feel like the chemistry between lily tomlin and grace no lily tomlin and jane fonda it's like <laughs> it's indescribable it's so freaking good i love them together i think you guys should check it out um the next show is baby it's an italian show about teenagers who live in rome and they go to this private school and two of the girls are prostitutes and they're like trying to balance their prostitution like the one side of their lives with the other it's really really good and i'm not into teenagers prostituting but it's sex work they're making money and providing one girl's like providing for her her mom like her mom has a money problem she's having a hard time raising her she's a single mom and her daughter decides to prostitute um it shows like glamorous parts but the not so glamorous parts as well but most of it is not really glamorous it's it's really it's intense but there's like love stories and there's just so much drama and it's just so good i put the english subtitles on and i just i love it and i love hearing the italian i can't speak it but it sounds it sounds so romantic and cool i love it baby is such a good show so check it out favorite <laughs> is the good place guys when i tell you i love the good place i love the good place it's a little bit slow sorry i have to focus it's a little bit slow in the beginning but it speeds up i'm on the third season yeah, I'm on the third season. Uh, basically, they're back in the real world. They're back on Earth. And um, I don't want to tell you guys like super details in case you want to watch it. But um, the comedians on that show, funny. Um, basically, you just get to see Chidi and 
everyone. Chidi is my favorite. I don't care what anyone says. Chidi is the best. Um, let me guys know in the comments who your favorite character is on The Good Place. But basically, these people died. They went to heaven. And then they were given a chance to start over to actually get into heaven. And now they're back on earth. And we're trying to see if they're actually good people who will do good things to get where they're supposed to be. Basically, you guys check it out. It's and I know I say all these shows are good, but the reason I'm recommending them is because they're so good. So if your show hasn't made it on this video, then maybe it's just not that good. I don't know. Well, based on what I think. <laughs> if you think they're good, then they're good for you. But these are the shows that I like. Guys, Shameless is on Netflix. It's a Showtime show. It's so good. It has Emmy Rosam. And, um... Fuck, I'm blanking on his name, but he's married to like Felicity Huffman and he's the dad on the show. So, 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 so. There's like s really funny parts, but it's like funny sad. The show is like so serious in a way. It's about these, um, this basically not even middle class, below middle class family living on the south side of Chicago. And sorry guys, I'm adjusting my legs. Living on the south side of Chicago and they're struggling and they're just grinding and trying to make a life for themselves and they're just siblings because their mom died and their father is a drunk and the older sibling Emmy who is played by Emmy Rosam is basically trying to take care of her family as best as she can and it's it's just a tender show and it makes you think about like the foster care system and like people living in poverty and like I mean they make a way for themselves and I think that's good but it's you guys gotta check it out it's a good show it's something you have to be in the mood for it though it's not something you just watch you have to be like in a mood for a show like that and you guys should check it out like the father will make you so mad <laughs> he's so annoying next show is Alexa and Katie um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of shows like this, but this one is about a girl who has cancer and she um, has a best friend and it's basically just about them living their lives. I think they're in, they, they're in high school and the girl who has cancer has a crush on her. No, the girl who doesn't have cancer. The best friend has a crush on the girl who has cancer's brother. And it's just a cute little show and it's like a lighthearted like after school type show about like I don't know just being strong and just hanging out with your best friend I don't know it's a cute it's a cute could be on Disney Channel show basically check it out if you're into shows like that if not you'll survive without it it's not like my top favorite it was just something to watch to have on in the background and like just a distraction because I like to procrastinate on my homework and that's the perfect show the next one is My First First Love. It's a Korean drama about this guy um, who lives alone and basically all of his friends, well three of his friends, three to four, a couple of his friends, um, they either get kicked out or they're in situations where they have nowhere to go and they move into his house. <laughs> and it's just, uh, he's like in love with one of his friends and she's, she's not even thinking of him that way. It's just, it's a whole thing. Um, it's a good, a really good Korean drama so far. Um, I'm halfway through the first season, but you guys should check it out if you're into Korean dramas and all the guys are cute and the fashion is, it's, it's, it's cute. Um, I don't know. I just like the way Korean dramas are filmed, especially for Netflix, but, um, yeah, check it out. Korean dramas are cool. They're cool. Next show, I am so... <laughs> The next show is my top. When I say I binged watched the whole season in one day, I literally watched the whole season in one day. It's called Raising Dion. Oof. It has the, the mom is the girl from, um, oh, what is that show called? Um, the mom is the girl from, uh, The Shadow Hunter. She was a werewolf in the show. Um, it's tremendously amazing. Basically, Dion is this little boy, he's black, and he has superpowers and Michael B. Jordan is his dad and you find out you just I don't want to tell you the like the good shit so I'm just gonna tell you it's about this kid who has superpowers 
as a single mom and she's trying to navigate him having the powers while also holding a steady job and taking care of them and providing for them and it's just it's crazy there's so many twists there's so many turns you're gonna die it's just so freaking good and the boy the little boy who plays Dion is so cute you guys check it out if you're into supernatural superhero type shows um that is like a number one for me that tops every show on Netflix for me it's so good you should check it out and there it's full of women of color and I think it's just a really good show very good check it out 10 out of 10 recommend can't wait for season two i'm on the lookout i it probably won't be until next year but who cares i'm i will i'm a diehard for that show i will ride it out i will wait so good so freaking good basically that concludes all the shows that i have watched um and that i think you guys should watch next will be the shows that i haven't watched yet but i will be watching in november and i will keep you guys posted in december of what i think about these shows so the first one is season two of the fucking end of the world or season two of the end of the fucking world so freaking excited the guy who plays the teenager in the show he came into the the grocery store that i work in oh my gosh guys he was so innocent and adorable and he was really shy but he was pretty cool but i'm very very freaking excited about season two of that show because it hasn't season one came out two years ago so i thought it was canceled or they were done with it but they're not and it's coming back and i'm freaking excited for season two i think it, it comes out tuesday today is november 1st for me so it comes out november 5th i think or either tuesday or friday of next week but i'm freaking excited for it um the next show is the hookup plan it's a french show i watch it with the hubby because he speaks french and i don't so i have the english subtitles and he has the, the french going on and guys the show is so cute it's about this girl who got dumped by this guy and she's basically she decides to just live her best life and she moves because she's tired of living for a guy she wants to live for herself so um basically in the first season because i watched the first season so we're excited for the second season that i haven't seen yet that's out um that i'm gonna watch this month um so basically she um first season she gets like a lot of she gets like dumped by this guy and her friends hook her up with this this guy that's a prostitute or like a hooker or whatever and she doesn't realize that and she kind of falls in love and then she finds out that it's he's not who he's supposed to be and he was just pretending and she decides fuck it i'm living for my own life she moves out of the country into this beautiful apartment and she's just like i'm living my life i'm living my best life let's see what happens that's where i left off in season one so we'll see what happens in season two and i'm super 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 excited about it but yeah um that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the shows i shared with you guys that you should definitely watch on netflix and i will see you guys next in december with a netflix video about the shows that i watched this month and a recap of the shows that I just listed. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watched any of these shows and you thought they were awesome, comment down below. Subscribe if you enjoy the content that I've been producing. If not, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force you. It's a kind of free country. I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you with a new video on Monday. Bye.